This right here is why I was so excited for SpaceX Starlink in the beginning. This is the RV mobile version, the version that you can put on the roof of a moving car and travel with it. This is why I wanted Starlink for my career field, having internet anywhere in the most remote places, solid high speed, low latency internet is critical. And this is gonna do it. I have already been a SpaceX customer using their older round dishy since February of 2021, I think. Uh, but now we got the official uh, mobile version because you're not technically allowed to use the older versions when in motion. See, we're running some really good numbers, Dell 103 upload. Four and a half. So I could have saved myself and not got the original version of this wait until this came out, but that is neither here nor there. So we're gonna open this up and do a little bit of an unboxing experience because quite honestly, when I was trying to find people that already had this, there weren't that many out there. So one thing I will note when this thing shipped, the box went through some hell. Um, this tape wasn't even taped properly. So that kind of raised a flag. This tape also was already undone. Um, so, you know, that's exciting. Uh, we got two more tapes here. Let's rip these apart. And that's pretty easy to open. Um, again, it looks like the Starlink went through hell. Um, but this is the new high performance dish, the flat dish for mobile version. Um, you can see it is uh, flat. Pretty nice. It's actually a little bit more compact than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it does come with a sheet of cardboard with the uh, mounting holes that you can put this on the roof of whatever vehicle and punch in your holes to mount it and all of that. Um, inside of this, you have some ethernet cables, it looks like. Uh, it is all PoE, power over ethernet. So what that means, you just need the one line to go into the Starlink dish, which presumably is this guy here. Um, and then otherwise, everything else is pretty much already plugged in. Um, interesting. I guess it's just like a shorter cable. Um, otherwise, you have the massive power brick on this thing. This is a very large power brick um, for this unit. And then you have the router uh, for Starlink as well. Um, this also appears to be much larger than the other one. Uh, it does look like also come with some material to make it for better for mounting. Um, also, you can just pull out the router like so. This one actually looks wide enough to stand on its own, unlike my other one, which constantly falls over um, at the slightest gust of wind. Um, then you have just your standard power cable. So it's all pretty much ready to go. This actually requires two power connectors. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Um, you got your little performance manual here. Um, Starlink app instructions, some what else is included, uh, some things that you'll need, uh, tools and all that kind of thing. Being the um, mobile version, this also came with the, part of the purchase was the roof mounting materials, which came here. Um, they actually both came the same day even though the roof material shipped first. So I ordered everything back on December 12th. Both of them arrived on January 5th. So it took, what, two-ish weeks for everything to get here. Um, interesting was that the dish uh, was actually overnighted via air, um, which was not the case for my old dish. Uh, that one took a long time on ground to get here via FedEx. Um, so that's the, all the dish components here. And then we have the uh, roof mounting materials, which sound like they're just kind of uh, in chaos inside this packaging here. So let's go ahead and open this up. This actually isn't secured at all. There is no tape on the packaging for this whatsoever. All right, um, here's your roof mount, nice metal. And you got some accessories, you got your screws, your nuts and everything all in here. Um, some water tightness thing for mounting cables and all of that. And again, this is the wedge mount. So this is what's primarily used for vehicles. So you would bolt this into the vehicle. The dish goes on top. Uh, the dish is at a slight angle uh, to allow for like water runoff from rain and snow. Also for it to be a little bit more aerodynamic. And then you would mount it uh, into the roof of a vehicle like so. Um, so that's all the things here. I also did come with a little bit of sealant. 
silicone. Um, I would recommend if you're really gonna be punching roofs to your car though, you're gonna need a lot more uh, than what they give you just to really be safe. So that is the RV mobility kit. Again, this is different than the traditional RV kit because this is the one that allows you to use it in motion. Um, and again, that is why I wanted SpaceX Starlink to begin with, is for the ability to have internet anywhere while driving for storm chasing. So this is all really, really exciting. I am pumped for this. One quick aside as I'm editing this video, what I'm doing is not the proper order. What you should do first is mount the roof mounting bracket onto the roof of your RV and then put the dish on. I'm doing it in this particular order though, just to get things up and running. But again, if you are installing this on a vehicle, you want to do the metal plate into the roof first before the dish. Just want to make sure that's clear. What we're going to do is install the mount at least properly on this thing, just kind of get things going. Uh, you're going to lie the flat dish here. Make sure it's on something that's not going to like scratch the hell out of the top of the dish. You don't want to do that right away. Uh, what you're going to then use are these uh, tiny little bolts. They're kind of the locking bolts. Uh, you can kind of see them here. Uh, these two will go into the holes that are closest to the cable port. And then you got these other little guys uh, that will then screw in up here after this goes on top. So you'll do those two bolts, slide this thing in, and then do those two. Screw that in here. Okay. There we go. All right, so just like that, we have the mount on the dish. Again, you can see it's a bit of a slant to it, um, so it's not perfectly straight or perfectly flat. Um, so that means the lower end of this will be um, on the front of the car, so it's a little bit more aerodynamic as you drive. Now we are outside. We got a clear view to the north, so we're gonna see how fast this thing takes to set up. You can see my old dishy back there with its heat kind of melting the snow around it. Now we're going to plug this into the port up at the front. All right, so we just plugged everything in. We're gonna start the stopwatch here. And then we're gonna go into the Starlink app. You can pick uh, the Starlink dish. So we have the flat dish here. I'm gonna confirm. I have a location. Plug in your Starlink, it is plugged in. Join your network. So join your Starlink Wi-Fi. It may take about 30 seconds for it to appear. So we're gonna open Wi-Fi settings. And stinky? Yes, okay. So it was stinky. So that was up very fast, do about 30 seconds. Uh, enter your Wi-Fi name, let's call it, um, huh, is that how it turns on and off if I tilt it a certain way? I wonder if there's a problem with the power source here. Apparently something just maybe not have been plugged in right away. So we now have determining location. So we are moving up in the world now. So it's booting. Oh, we're now connecting. Okay, setup complete. So on the clock, that is 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Done. My with Starlink says it is now online. All right, here we go. Ping of 48 milliseconds, pretty darn good. I remember um, when I first got the initial Starlink dish too, the initial download speeds were a little slow uh, before it really kind of got fine-tuned. But you can see here, you know, not bad, not bad. We had a little bit of issues um, early on. We had some troubleshooting. It's unplugged and replugged everything. There's clearly a bit of an issue early on. Your mileage may vary, but at least as of now, it appears to be working fine. We have the Starlink dish mounted just flat here. It is warm to the touch, so it's doing its thing. Um, compared to my old Starlink dish, um, I think it did take a little bit extra time, but again, we had to do a little bit of troubleshooting here and there. But still, we went from plugging it in to internet in about 11 minutes, which is pretty impressive. Um, but again, this is not the main reason I got the Starlink dish, not just for my backyard. 
We're gonna test mobility while we're driving with this thing at the highway speeds. I am so excited for this again. This is why I have Starlink to begin with was for that functionality. So make sure to stay tuned for more videos, a lot more Starlink content coming your way here in 2023. All these sorts of tasks comparing the old Starlink with the new Starlink or vice versa and that kind of thing. It'll be good times. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to like it and subscribe for more Starlink content and whatever else I post on this channel. And we'll see you again with the next video.